In this example, I'm going to show you how we can solve a first order differential equation using the integrating factor method. Let's have a look at the differential equation. The equation is x squared dy dx minus 2xy equals 3x to the power 6. First of all, recall that the standard form of a first order linear differential equation is dy dx plus p of x y equals q of x so that the coefficient of dy dx in the standard form is just 1. Now to get our equation into standard form I'm going to divide every term through by x squared which will give dy dx minus 2 over x times y is 3x to the power 4 and that's in the standard form where p of x equals minus 2 over x and q of x is 3x to the power 4. Don't forget that p of x is actually minus 2 over x not just 2, uh, two, not just two over x. Now the formula for the integrating factor is, let's call the integrating factor R, the integrating factor is e to the integral of p of x dx which in this example is e to the integral of minus 2 over x dx which is e to the minus 2 natural logarithm of x and when we're finding an integrating factor we don't need a constant of integration now using the laws of logarithms the minus 2 can go inside as a power which is e to the log x to the minus 2 and then the exponential and log cancel each other out and we're just left with x to the minus 2 or 1 over x squared as the integrating factor. We then take the standard form of our differential equation and we, and we multiply it through by the integrating factor so we'll get 1 over x squared dy dx minus 2 over x cubed y is 3x squared we've multiplied through by the integrating factor and the point of doing that is that the left hand side then can always be written as the integrating factor multiplied by y and to check that you could use the product rule if you use the product rule on 1 over x squared y you'd write down the first term 1 over x squared multiplied by the derivative of the second which is dy dx so this gives you the first term here and um, then you'd add the second term which is y multiplied by the derivative of the first term and the derivative of 1 over x squared is minus 2 over x cubed so the point is that once you've multiplied through by the integrating factor the left hand side takes this exact form on the right hand side we've still got 3x squared so if the derivative of 1 over x squared y is 3x squared then it follows that 1 over x squared y must be the integral of 3x squared with respect to x which is x cubed plus a constant of integration. Finally to find y we multiply everything through by x squared so y becomes x to the 5 plus cx squared and that's the general solution of the original differential equation. Don't forget to include the constant of integration at this last stage here because if you don't include it you will lose this uh, cx squared term here and you won't have the general solution. That's the problem solved.